بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم My brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All of our speakers have spoken wonderfully and alhamdulillah they've inspired us to be here to take away with us some key messages. One thing that has been missed perhaps from our conversations is that our sisters plight in Uyghur communities in prison. I don't know that you know but the Chinese government and their security services have used rape as a means to degrade, destroy and denigrate our sisters on a regular basis. Brothers and sisters, we have reports of many of our sisters who have been raped in those concentration camps by Chinese men, not just one man, but gang raped on a regular basis. And it's a disgrace that we stand here and the world stays silent while our sisters are being raped systematically by Chinese government. And Chinese government tells the world nothing is happening. Shame on China. Shame on Chinese government. Ladies and gentlemen, it makes me very upset and very angry. I want to ask the Chinese president. He has a daughter of his own, the only one daughter that he has. What would he do if his daughter was raped regularly, systematically by soldiers of other people? What would the president of China do if his people were systematically raped in the same way as the Muslim sisters in those concentration camps are being systematically raped? We have reports upon reports of this awful crime and we should not stay silent about it. Brothers and sisters, on top of that, 16,000 plus masajids have been erased and destroyed from the Uyghur Muslim communities. 16,000 mosques have been destroyed. How dare anyone destroys one mosque? But Chinese government has decided to destroy 16,000 mosques. The funny thing is the Chinese government, the Communist Party doesn't understand that Islam isn't in a mosque. Islam is in our hearts. But we are Allah Akbar. In our hearts we are Muslims. And in our billions we are Muslims. They can put millions of Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. They can destroy our mosques. But they can never obliterate the light of Islam from our hearts. They will never, they will never obliterate the light of Islam from our hearts. But me! Allah. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something finally. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Remember this verse if you cannot remember any other. وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Do not despair and do not give up. Don't be sad and don't be dispirited. If you truly believe, Allah will elevate you. A day will come when Chinese Communist Party will not find a rat hole to hide. A day will come when Chinese security services will not find a place to hide. Allah A day will come when Chinese government will wonder, what have we done? We brothers and sisters, we never give up, Muslims never give up. We never give up our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was kicked out of his own home in Mecca, when he was going to Medina. He looked out and he said, he said to the guy who found him, Sulaqa, he said to Sulaqa, Oh Sulaqa, I make you a promise. I give you the, I will give you the bracelet of the Persian king's own bracelet and his own crown. One day, when he was leaving Mecca, he gave them that promise. We never give up, my brothers and sisters. We never lose hope. If Chinese government wants to lock up millions of Muslims of our Uyghur brothers and sisters in China, they will not be able to silence you and I, the millions and the billions who are all around the world. In our, I do want to say to you that we are in our billions, in our millions, we are all you Uyghur Muslims. We are all Uyghur Muslims. And I really like the slogan that you've come up with. Tell the Uyghur who we are. Louder. Tell the Uyghur who we are. When you say La ilaha illallah, it shakes their hearts. When you say La ilaha illallah, the Communist Party doesn't like it. When you say La ilaha illallah, the President of China can't sleep. So say it again. Tell the Uyghur who we are. Tell the Uyghur who we are. Tell the Uyghur who we are. And we want our brothers and sisters in Uyghur to be free. 
We want their freedom now. We want their freedom right now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Brothers and sisters, never give up again. We believe in Allah and we rely on Allah. One day, Allah will free the Uyghur people. One day, people of China will realize that Islam is the good news for them. And inshallah, in their millions and in their billions, they will embrace Islam too. Inshallah, they will embrace Islam too. My brothers and sisters, with these words, I'd like to finish. But I would like to say to you, stay united, stay powerful, and keep pressurizing. And inshallah, straight after my speech, when we give the adhan, and when we, when we pray in front of the Chinese embassy, the very Chinese government that has denied our brothers and sisters the right to pray. Let them watch and let them be shivering in their seats, in their standing, in their lying down, that we will never give up our prayers. We are together in our resolve. Tell the Uyghur who we are. Tell the Uyghur who we are. Tell the Uyghur who we are. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.